Cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah I'll tie up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back bed, I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll Alright, we're gonna do another project today uh, pretty stoked about this one. Um, now that we actually have sun here in Washington, which we usually don't, we're getting pretty warm out. So we got our new panels in. So these things are pretty freaking big. So I'm super jacked about it. Um, these are gonna go on top of the bimini. So I'm gonna walk you through how I'm gonna do that. Um, our bimini's got some extra supports and stuff that I added for wind, all that shit when we did the canvas enclosure. So ours is a little stouter for this. These are kind of heavy, like 30 pounds a piece. And these are 300 watt a piece panels. So we'll be adding 600 watts to our bank. Uh, so I'm super jacked. This should take us over. Our, our potential yield with these and the other panels should be almost 1100 watts. Um, we won't see that, especially here, but at least we have that, we have that quite a bit on there now. So. Yeah, so I'm gonna walk you through how I'm gonna do it. Um, I kind of, this time, I last time I made some brackets. Being a fabricator, I like making brackets and everything, but now that we're on the boat full time, I ordered some brackets. And so I've got some stuff, some ideas with that. I'm gonna walk you guys through what I did, which I think will work pretty freaking good. And then I won't be up here drilling, cutting as much. So, and then also the big question is the bimini is, I'll show you what I'm thinking to, to put holes in that without actually um, they will be bedded uh, when they go through, but we don't want to cut big holes and put these brackets through our bimini because when we get heavy rain, um, it's a bummer if it's tripping on your nice enclosure. So I'll show you what my plan is with that. Steph wasn't soaked when we cutting up her canvas work she did. So I got some good ideas for that. So we'll walk through that today, but um, this is going to be like our first work Wednesday. So if you're following along, we're going to start doing Wednesday project videos and Friday normal life where we're at keeping up with it so that way we have a ton of projects I have more than enough work and content for to do a weekly video of my own on these so uh, and as always if you guys have questions of this after it's done or why I did this where I get it I can put links below to what where we got parts and all that stuff but uh, we will I'll hook them up and then wire them up and then show you let's see what yield and kind of go from there because you know on paper the solar should always just get everything but it doesn't you know angling shading all that stuff so we'll get into all that later here but um yeah so that's it so this is the first project wednesday we're gonna get started and i'm gonna hopefully knock this one out in a day or two um but yeah this whole thing here is gonna be covered these panels are three feet by five and a half feet or damn near five and a half feet so they're big big panels so but i'm gonna try to shove them on here and make them look good anyone can stick a panel anywhere but i'm gonna try to make it look good and sleek and all that job so yeah let's do it all right so we got start with is the panels there oh man i'm gonna mess this up i don't know b-o-u-g-e-r-v i don't know if that's bogue rv oh i don't know correct me I, I don't know whatever i got these ones there i've seen them pop around see people use them decently they're Kind of a mid-price panel uh and they're not cheap by any means but they're affordable i like that word better okay show this. and then what i did and we'll get into this more uh later when i'm installing is these are actually solar panel brackets and i'll link them below but i think they i think we spent like 50 bucks on these yeah. something like that yeah i think it was like 50 bucks on on those and they're just like a universal the reason I like these is they actually come with a threaded piece that goes to the backside and it won't spin inside the panel track, the aluminum track. So when you put this in, you can bolt in and slide them and it won't spin inside there. And then we have these, and these I'm really wishful on um, that they're gonna do well. Cause our oddity to ours is we're gonna go to this these rails in here and they look like kind of like a diamond the way that they're positioned capture out there they kind of look like a diamond shape so most uh is stainless round tubing so it'd be much easier but so these ones are have teeth they're toothed to uh that they should lock on into there and uh the plan of attack is to put them up these are or sorry these are flagpole mounts rail mount flagpole mounts so the plan is to put these up here and then what i'll do 
because you got little rubber gaskets here is these will be under the bimini and then i'll drill a hole in the bottom side and then sandwich these on top so instead of having a big slit and having this come through all the canvas we're just gonna have that one hole they will sandwich together um, and then i'll actually bed them with a compound too like anything else on a boat uh, we'll glue them together and hopefully we don't get any leaks and it's strong the last thing i want is my panel flying off Yeah, so you can see here, fits pretty good. Um, one thing to know, I got it covered up because these create voltage when the sun hits up. So when you have the controller hooked up, that will obviously you know, control the voltage as it comes to the batteries. It takes spikes and it makes it a more streamlined charge. Um, but these create power. So the, the ends are far apart. They're pretty enclosed. I don't think you would actually ever have an issue, but better be safe than sorry. I mean, these panels are 300 watts. I mean, they put out a pretty good amount of amperage, honestly, for 12 volt. Spend some money, Rosie Cam. Yep, so shy on the camera. Say, I at you. I am. Yeah, you get me? Yeah. You get my good side? Good? I look good? I look goofy? All right, we got a few things. I found a wash down pump I've been needing. That doesn't fit my bag. Thought Rose keeps laughing at me about. Yeah. Daddy said he was pretty sure it fit and it did not. So once in a very rare time, daddies are wrong, right Rose? No. Come this way. All right, so yeah, we scored a wash down pump. We have one on there now that's just junk. And for with the dog, we just use a bucket, keep it old school and it's getting old. So uh, we finally broke down. We've been looking for one that was the right pressure volume. And this one uh, should give it a little more oomph. So yeah, now we're walking back. Got Rosie, got a few things in Rosie's backpack. So we always put the backpacks on the kids. They want to help and uh, it's extra load for us. So we got bolts, we got diapers. I ran out of those. Uh, and so I think we're good. So now we're going to wander back to the boat. You get tired? Yeah. Uh, I'm carrying all this stuff. Uh, no, it, uh, not in my backpack. Uh, when I get all the in my backpack, I, I, I die. You're... you're tired when you get a lot of stuff in the backpack? Yeah. But you like helping, don't you? Yeah. Because daddy needs help too, right? Yeah. And you're strong, huh? Yeah. Are you really strong or kind of strong? Kind of strong. You're just kind of strong? You're not really strong yet? Yeah. Okay, but you're gonna be really strong. Yeah. Because you're a sailor girl, right? Yeah. Right? Sailor girls are tough. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, so what do you do first? Turn it. I think you turn it the other way. Sorry, other way. Good, good girl. Okay, now what next? Give a little gas, right? She's an old girl. Nope, that's good. Yeah, no, you got it. It's forward. My yeah, dad left it forward. Okay, then what next? What do we do after that to run the boat? How do, how do we start it? You don't remember how to start it? How do you make the motor run? Add a girl. Can you pull that? Yeet. Okay, I'm going to help you just this once, right? You're on a mission, aren't you, girl? You like it? Yeah. You're good at driving the ball, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. You're the coolest girl ever, you know that?
All right, so I went ahead and skipped ahead because it just gets boring and no one's gonna sit there and watch it. So you got the gist of it, but here's the finished product. Bracket. Bracket, kind of the same just all the way around. Got a lock. Okay, so we got four brackets per panel. Okay, and then what this does is you drill here. And since I bought these as actually solar panel mounts, these sliders go in here. And then you can just tighten it in without trying to, you know, hold the wrench on the backside. Um, but one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show I'm running two to ones on this. So I'm going to mount the front and I'm going to put these on before I bolt them down. What I also have now two to ones, there's uh, you have the problem with shading and stuff. If you have one panel shaded, um, it can back feed and all that stuff. So what I kind of threw looking through the internet and everything, I finally found these. They're diodes and they clip in between those panels on the positives on the end of the base where it wise off and comes in. So that shouldn't be able to back feed. So a diode for anyone, for anyone who doesn't know what a diode is, it's basically an electrical valve. So it's a one way valve for electricity. Okay, so I'm gonna put a diode. I'm gonna see what this does. Um, I'll try it with and without. I just got these. I was kind of scouring, trying to figure out how I could run one controller for two and not deal with shading issues. So I'm gonna see if this actually works. They're real cheap. Um, they're also fuse diodes, so it adds an extra fuse in line, which I kind of like too. So um, this is kind of a new thing I'm gonna try. Um, just from my experience electrical, I was trying to think of how not to back feed them like diode. And sure enough, they made these, but they were hard as hell to find. So. Um, anyways, we'll see uh, if it works. That's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook, be hooking that up. All right, just like that. See the mounts on. It's kind of what she'll look like. Man, not too shabby. So, crumps up a little there, but it should protect the bimini now too a little more. Yeah, and it's far enough over where we'll obviously always get shading. I mean, that's just everything. When the sail's up, yeah, one side will get shaded for sure. Um, but hopefully, when we have the boom out, it's enough for it's out. But yeah, I mean, so far. The panel doesn't look very big, but I mean, it's freaking huge. So pretty stoked about this to say the least. All right, so I have a confession to make. These black brackets uh, worked perfect, uh, but they were coming like in packs of twos and some somehow me not count so good. And I fucking only ordered four of them. And I need four per panel. So we're here for a few days. And so like expedite them. I think we should get the other ones tomorrow or the next day. But that friggin' sucks. I'm usually really anal about it. And we had a bunch of stuff we were ordering at once. It was late at night. And I freaking forgot it. All right, day two. Finally got my brackets in that I forgot to order. And now the panels are mounted. So that's kind of what they're gonna look like. So that's nice. And then what I gotta do, this is the other question mark. Um, I think if I put any more holes in this, stuff's gonna kill me. And so the wiring, I don't really wanna run it in here for the sake of I just don't wanna see it while I'm sitting there on the inside. So I think we're gonna do is we're gonna go around here and I'm gonna have her actually stitch a, a same fabric a sleeve that goes up here and then i'll probably button it to this or something and then i'm gonna cut holes and then i'm gonna come in through here in the next phase and run the wires through here so but i want to show this real quick so i'm using a two to one i want to explain this because i didn't find a lot of info online when i was doing these this is how mine's been rigged up on the back this whole time um this is a two to one so both negatives go in here if you're if you're going for 12 volt um, if you're going 24, it's a whole, you gotta run them in series, it's a different explanation, but for 12 volt, you're running these, um, you run negative, negative, and then run positive, positive. 
okay. does is obviously you have to have ample wire because you're running twice the amperage through it. So you'll run the same voltage for more amperage. Um, so they have these two to ones. And what I was talking about earlier is, what the hell is it? This guy, these diodes. Again, if you're not familiar, diode electrical one-way valve. Um, it's fused as well, which is cool. Um, so if you have one solar panel get shaded, you risk having, instead of the power going here, is it back feeding back this power? And so not only will shading lose the power of this one take, it actually can pull from there, is what people say. I don't know how inclusive it is, but I'm gonna do some tests. I think on these ones, cause I haven't used it yet. I think I'm gonna do some tests in a different video and see if that works um, when I got more time. All right, we're back at it. Uh, we got moved out here to Langley yesterday. No more dock life, thank God. So nice being back in Anchor. So now I'm back in the project mode. So the panels did good. We got a shit whipping of wind last night. Uh, had a super weird run. We had like, this place is not, we're in a channel technically. Um, and it likes to funnel through here and um, it can whip up here and the, the sea state can get real nasty out here but yeah we had like not much wind i think we had i think it was like 8 and 15 but for whatever reason up this channel um up here the straights over here it funnels through we were just all fucking night i had I'd say like three foot rollers probably and they were stacked right on top of each other so we were just fucking shooting the bow up all night. Um, I'll see if we have some, I think we have some footage we'll throw in there just for fun. So anyways, but my whole point of all that was too is we got off the dock, came out here for a quiet evening and got shit whipped a little bit. That's life. Um, but the cool thing about that is that my solar panels didn't fall off. So it looks like that's gonna be a good spot for them because we were just literally getting chucked. I mean, the bow was just like, boop. It was probably like from here. We'll see if it's got the video, but it was just like coming up like to that cross and just dropping down and whipping us all to hell. But yeah, so anyways, so panel installation was good. We got to test it last night. Mother Nature's good for that, even if you're ready for it. So next step is this wire is I'm going to get this, all this shit. I got to go down through the tube, through that. That's um, There's the fiberglass and there's a gap and then there's the bulkhead. So I'm going to sneak right between there and then run up below the cockpit, down this bulkhead to my battery bank right underneath the stairs. So one thing that's nice about working with aluminum is it's soft. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little trick. So see here, the my concern here and i'm gonna put grommets on these i actually didn't forgot to fix them up but i can put them on after the fact so see here if you put this in here you got sharp points and power never mix you on and you have to do a hard bend so it's going to come down bend in and bend again right so what you can do is you just and you can heat it up too if you want but you should be able to just muscle it yeah, bear with me. I'm trying to do it with both hands. Hey, Rose, come hold this camera. Yeah. Come over here. Not your cell phone. At the hole. Oh. Right here. Yeah. Right there. Say, so hold it. Okay. You want everyone to be able to see? Okay. Now when it goes in, see, it's almost like it's meant to. So you did that, just to really make sure you got like a nice clean. And then what I'll do is I'll clean this up and then I'll put seal in there just to kind of suspend it in that hole. And so, I mean, it actually comes up pretty good. You clean it up, it looks really good. So we'll do it down here too, right before we go in. And it gives you a nice little clean transition. So a little backyard redneck fab trick for anyone out there trying to do this. And this is just one of my supports I added for the Bimini. So it's not actually really structural, just adds, it helps a little bit when you put a shitload of panels on it, like I did. I'll probably stack other stuff on. Disco ball, all sorts of stuff, who knows. Look at that. 
on the first try too. As long as Steph edits out all the first or fifteenth try. <laughs> uh, now, so yeah, I basically go through here. It does make it a ton easier uh, making a ninety from the inside. If anyone's ever tried, it just isn't gonna happen unless you have far more patience than me. So because I got that little slope in now, it's hard to see on the camera, but there's a pretty good little slope. I didn't weld this one as much, I kicked this in. And then I use a pick tool to coax it out, basically run it down until it hits the pick tool, then twist. So the camera died, I mean, I was drilling this hole, but uh, this is what I got so far. So we got to, uh, my plan to do this nice little hole here has failed. So basically when they say they, you know, they don't build them like they used to, this boat was one of those where they, uh, this thing is slow as hell, but it's tough as hell. Um, the glass here in the decks and everything, especially this aft cabin, probably because we've got the mast there, is super, super thick. I mean, it's like, there's there's core wood in there too. It's probably, I think it's like, fuck, almost an inch of core wood. And then there's like just glass, glass, core wood, glass, glass. I mean, it, that I'm not, I'm not joking when I say it punched through. I'm usually almost, when I did the solar panels here to drill the wire through, I was almost a full drill drill bit to get through to the other side. The thing we're gonna do for plan B, since I already have a hole here, and for the sake of not freaking going crazy with holes, I'm gonna end up running it down. I'll clip it across here, and then I'll run it to here. Um, not my favorite aesthetically wise, um, but I think what we're gonna do is me and Steph were just talking about this whole part right here, we're gonna put a cushion. She's gonna be doing a bunch of sewing projects, so I think one of our first ones, she's gonna do a little bit, pick up some foam and do a whole cushion across, because our cushions up here are super comfortable. We do hang out here a ton, so that'll be kind of nice. We always throw pillows, there's one right there. Always throw pillows, so that'll kind of cover that right there, so it won't be out of the world. I'll drop it down and then have it go here and here all clipped up. So it's just me being OCD, I guess, but yeah, so that's the new goal is to go down through here and I should make an easy drop down and like I said in between here is where you put the wires It goes to the engine room and then forward Okay, so I'm pulling the sewing machine out to help with this project of finishing up the solar panels. I already cut out a little uh, canvas piece to cover up the wiring so that it's somewhat protected. It's already waterproof, but uh, it'll just to look nice and also for that extra protection. So now I have to pull out the sewing machine. So I got the sewing machine set up. This is my first time sewing on Anchor, actually, so we'll see how that goes. I think it'll be fine. Yeah. I have my helper. <laughs> sew it all together and hopefully I can just like put it inside out afterwards if that doesn't work then I'm gonna have to figure something else out I'm just hoping that works so we'll see Okay, so a moment of truth. Uh, this is the finished product, and I will show you what it's supposed to hopefully look like. Let's see. I think 
think that's gonna work perfect. That's what we're going for, trying to cover some of the connections and then also just make it look nicer too. But it looks like it's gonna work. So, yay! Now that that's done, back to the more technical part of what he's doing with these solar panels. So I got everything kind of pulled up. It's pretty messy now, but I've got my false floor out. That usually cleans it up in here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the second uh, MP MPPT controller, fuck, solar controller, whatever, um, right there next to it. And you can already see, I already got breaker in. Uh, there's the basically the solar panels, and then there's the battery. I'm gonna do battery and then solar panel next to it. And then I'll mount that there. And then I have one more spot on my servo left to tee it in so that I can have a readout for my solar right there, my PV charger. Um, it's almost evening here, so that's why they're sucking on my solar right now. So yeah, and so I'm gonna hook up the breakers first. That'll isolate my power, and then I can hook the controller up, and then we can test it out tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see. I may just hook them up and then call it a day. But uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. I've already pulled the wire through. Um, and then I'll show you the panels all done. So I went ahead and labeled this right away because it's the one thing we don't want to confuse these is where they're going. So that's now hooked up, disconnected. So this goes to the battery. This leg will go to the second controller. Once I get it on, I'm gonna hook the breakers first. Um, yeah, that'll go basically the solar controller. Um, that second one, that'll disconnect. That will be where the panel power goes in. So I can isolate um, a breaker between panel and controller and controller and battery. All right, so I kept knocking the camera over, but you can see here, I've got a label. So this power goes to the battery breaker pop this power goes to the panel breaker pop they're not plugged in up top either but so now they're deadheaded so now i'll run positive battery positive battery up to big Tron makes it pretty self-explanatory come on panel voltage battery um i don't know if that's what pv stands for but pv is panel uh, so positive there for PV for, to breaker, positive battery to breaker, and then both your grounds here. And so it's, they make it pretty easy. Um, but yeah, that's how I kind of isolate mine out. So I've got four breakers, um, and then I have fuses on the panel side too. Um, and what that does is if any case, um, a wire gets cut through from here to that, it's a pretty long run from here to there. Both sides are protected. All right, so this where it gets a little tricky. If you look down, I got four wires in there. And those are the four that go in here. So what I've found is I'll put the wires in first, tighten them down, and then mount this. And that way I feel like I know that I got a good hook on it. Um, you can mount this first and then put them up there. Um, it's really up to you. Um, yeah, I try to mount them first and then put the whole thing up. And then I'll just double check them. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so we got two MBT. You can see these fuses are still pops. So I just labored this one uh, center solar, aft solar, and. Oops, there's a flashlight. Yeah, so we got that all set up. It's awesome. So what we'll do now, now we gotta connect it to the servo, which is one of the cool features that's not a must. For anyone watching this, actually trying to hook up the Victron stuff, if you want to just watch this for purely entertainment, good on you. Um, and specifically, you're using uh, Victron gear like us, one of the big pluses for them is they all um, adapt or um, interface together. That's the word, adapt. So this unit or this setup I have with the coolest part about it, honestly, is that 
for me is that the solar controller does what it's supposed to not only can you connect your phone to these um, but also is the servo hook up here and so what we're gonna do is we have a display and it's all tied in here so that's done via servo this is the servo module okay so it's got VE direct that's the ports right up here and there's three of them now you can switch to the bus the USB ports too and do conversion ones we're not going to get into that right now. So on the bottom of this, I don't know if you can see, let's see. There's a little port there. Okay. And so I've got this guy. All right. So I plug to one side in here. It's hard to do with the camera in your hand. And then the other guy is going to come up. I'm going to do some routing. So. And then that open spot I have right there, which is labeled VE Direct. So again, if you're using this, actually setting up Victron stuff. And this just does a direct line from the servo to this guy. So, sick of testing. I'm gonna call that good. And so yeah, it looks pretty good so far. I'm gonna do a cleanup afterwards. I always zip tie and clean up afterwards because if something get hooked up, you got a bad cable, whatever, um, it's not as hard to pull it apart. So um, yeah, so that's just the gist of that for now. So let me get this, let me get it plugged in up top and we'll see, it's not gonna pull any actual solar, but it should register on the servo. Perfect time to test solar stuff, right? So. Here we go. This is uh, the stuff's little creation. She probably showed you earlier. The biggest thing is we want to plug these in, but I wanted it to a be protected and b kind of blend in. It didn't have to be completely blended in, but someone I didn't want it going inside like right above my head. So you do. The idea is slide these all. Slide this up here and then connect negative to negative. Oh, click positive, good click. And what we'll do is in the morning, I'm gonna come and we're gonna stitch this boom, 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 just a couple stitches just to hold it in place, and then it should be pretty. Not only is it, um, and then I'm gonna seal up here. Not only is it kind of just there, but it's out of the way. It's not gonna be hooked up. I'm gonna tie these off. And it's just, yeah, it just looks cleaner. The connectors are out of this, the rain, all that stuff. And uh, I think overall that turned out to be a really cool little, little hack. So let's kick it on and see what it does. All right, so we're running now. And uh, we're getting, sh this anchorage kind of has crappy shading, at least on my rig. Um, but you can go here. So I've got, I hope you can see that. Aft solar, Bimini solar. Um, Bimini's being shaded by the mizzen right now, so that's all right. But yeah, so we're rocking. And that's why I wanted this much solar to be clear. We don't use that much power, honestly, we really don't. Um, but the thing with solar is I really enjoy solar power. I think it's really freaking cool. Obviously free power, not running the generator, saves you money not listening to shit but one thing i don't know if it's mentioned that i hear people you know rave about solar and stuff but they don't talk about is shading and twisting and hitting the sun different and um, a perfect yield you know what a panel will put out <clears throat> is if you were to walk around and point at the sun all day which you can't do right so and i spend time you know moving shit around booms and stuff people will see me probably and i knew i was doing that with where i put them but i like that they're out of the way and stuff um but uh, anyways, my point is with this is the way I'm setting it up, the reason I'm doing this much solar is so that I can accommodate for shading, stuff like that, the anchorage where it doesn't fit perfectly, you know, and then uh, I'll always get an ample load. So bang, they're done. You guys see the mizzen right here shades. You can see that shade spot right there, but these are soaking good. So the idea was that when these are hitting good, these won't hit as good. When these are getting shaded, vice versa 
So one thing I wanted to talk about that hasn't been something I knew about at least, and I don't know if it's money do, but when I installed these here, we did them on top of the, our bedroom. And as I see, you know, a lot of people do solar arches, which is great. We can't really do that with all of our rigging as much very easily. So when I installed these, I left an air gap on both, you'll see here, so that wind could come underneath it. You know, as these get hot, you know, you want to be able to be cool. But we noticed that our aft bedroom back here stays the coolest in the whole boat. So it got us thinking, you know, why, why is that? Because there's much more airflow in other parts of the boat. And I actually think it's because the, the solar panels become an insulating factor. So the sun hits them, they soak up the sun, and then the air gap comes through the wind and it actually keeps the sun off of heating up the deck. And so with here on the bimini, I did the same thing, I put an air gap here, and we noticed that our bimini, now that we're getting a hotter season, our, even with the flaps off all around, our bimini is still getting pretty warm and we actually put a thermal layer in between to try to help that. And so, we put these on top of here thinking it would also help as a thermo insulator. So just so people know, if you wanted to put it somewhere on your boat that really gets hot or gets beat up by the sun, that this might be a viable option. So I wanted to show with the heat gun here, see if we can see it. So this stuff gets super hot baking in the sun all day. Let's see if you can see it on here. 124 it says on this thing. It's probably been radiating and everything, so take that as you will. Okay, now, 76 I mean 80 that's even kind of in the shade well, I mean look at that I mean that's crazy so by doing this not only we've got free power from the Sun but when we get in the hotter climates and stuff putting solar panels above the deck it's actually going to help keep the heat down inside the cabins is the goal so I have some ideas with that later I may be adding more solar panels because now that they're an insulating factor plus free energy it don't get much better than that but anyway so anyone that didn't know that i didn't know that until i took the gun out and started getting curious solar panels actually do look like they have an insulating factor from direct sunlight and anyone who spent any time on a boat knows that when the sun is beaming down on the boat it becomes an oven okay unless you have good wind it becomes an oven so anyways i just thought that was a really cool thing that i'd add in is don't get much better than that as far as free energy and keeps the sun off keeps it cooler in there it's a win-win so all right she's all done uh we have more solar i don't know if it'll be the last we'll see but we got a ton more now we actually have more power than we wanted to do with so that's rare on a boat so that's all i got for that any questions you know what to do comment below all right bye are you driving the dinghy back do you want to do it yeah.